All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn basic JavaScript by building a role playing game. Step 156. All right. So now we're going to remember that the increment operator, the plus plus, can be used to increase a variable's value by one. Yes, we do remember that. Uh, there's also a decrement operator, minus minus, that can be used to decrease a variable's value by one, believe it or not. Uh, so now we're going to decrement the value of current weapon in our if statement after we update the text. Okay. So we'll come down here and we'll say uh, current weapon minus 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 like that. There we go. How about like that? All right. And to test this, what we're going to do, we'll do a console.log console uh, current weapon. All right. And we're also going to change this to one because we don't have time for a one in 10 chance. If we just change it to one, no matter what, if it's less than or equal to one, which it's going to be because math.random is from zero to one, uh, it'll show us the console log, all right? So let's uh, go to the store. So current weapon's going to start at, at zero, right? So we're going to go to the store and we'll buy ourselves a weapon to start with. So we know that current weapon is now one because that's what our code does, right? So now let's go back to town square. Let's go to the cave. Let's fight the slime and let's give him a nice little attack. Ah, oh, yay! And the dagger breaks console zero. This thing definitely works, right? So let's change this to point one. Uh, let's go back and let's get rid of this console.log. Let's check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 157. And we'll see you next time.